Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a CCNP route and T-shoot video practice exam for you on an often overlooked topic when it comes to OSPF. And I call this one, Just Don't Go Over. We're going to get to that question in just a moment. I want to thank you, as always, for your support in making TBA part of your CCNP success story. We're actually now out on Amazon.com. Very excited about that. My route study guide's there ready for you. Uh, at only $9.99 a copy, it's the best $10 bucks you will ever spend on your CCNP studies. And my route DVD will be out there shortly. You can still get that, of course, at thebryantadvantage.com as well. Now, when I was talking about this often overlooked topic with OSPF, I'm sure your first thought was, as much time as we spend with OSPF, how in the world can there be something that we've overlooked? Well, this is a topic that I have found that people tend to breeze right over in their studies. It's really easy to do, and then you get to exam day, and you get asked a couple of questions about it, and it's like, eh, let me see if I can remember. We really want to avoid that. So the topic I'm talking about is design, and Cisco has a couple of best practices with OSPF that we need to keep in mind, not just for the exam, but also for real-world networking, because OSPF networks grow pretty quickly, and then all of a sudden you've got little isolated problems that become not so isolated, and a lot of times it comes back to design. So just give me the number that goes with these Cisco OSPF design warnings or best practices. No router should be in more than this many areas. B, no area should contain more than this many routers. C, no router should have more than this many neighbors. And D, don't run more than this many OSPF practice, excuse me, processes on an ABR. If you want to pause the video for a moment, go right ahead, but we're going to go ahead and head straight into the answers. Cisco recommends that no router be in more than three OSPF areas, so that's the answer to question for A. No area should contain more than 50 routers. No router in turn should have more than 60 neighbors. And you really shouldn't run more than one OSPF process on an area border router because, as we know, that database really grows quickly when you're an ABR and there's a lot of overhead associated with it. So you want to watch out for that. Now, the reason I really want to drive this home with you is that so many of these kind of sound alike. You know, no area should have this many more than this many routers, no router should be in more than this many areas, and I don't want you to get any confusion on exam day. So again, going from top to bottom, Cisco recommends that no router uh, be in more than three areas, no area should contain more than 50 routers, no router should have more than 60 neighbors, and you should not run more than one OSPF process on an ABR. It's just that fast. So thanks so much for watching today's video, and I wanted to show you. Come on out and join us on Twitter and on YouTube as well. We look forward to seeing you. I'm Chris Bryan, and thanks again for making TBA part of your CCNP success story.